If I beat my opponent, then I evolve. It's very simple. Now, I know, I know, that sounds like the normal rules for Pokemon, but this is way sped up. Now, will we find that grinding 100 battles to evolve is more fun? Maybe, but probably not. No, probably not. This whole challenge was live streamed, so if you want to see my Pokemon challenges live, then hit that sub button. I do that. And I only say that because I know that 99% of you watching right now aren't subscribed. We will be playing Pokemon 1v1s, which is otherwise known as the rock, paper, scissors of Pokemon. But the difference is that we can customize our moves. So while my opponent may play scissors, I play Dragon Dance Charizard. While my opponent may play rock, I have a Our starting team today is gonna be Charizard, Bulbasaur, and Squirtle, the Kanto starters. Right, our first match actually looks super decent if we're going for a Bulbasaur lead. So let's just go Bulbasaur, hope he doesn't go Blaziken. So we get the Azumarill. The best bet would be Leech Seed, but he might be Sap Sipper, which is Grass Resist. So I'm gonna go Sludge Bomb, because that's super effective versus the Fairy typing. I don't think it really makes any difference. I think we can just go Sludge Bomb, because like Eviolite versus Aqua Bulldoze. What the frick is that? Sludge Bomb again. Super close. We showed that these Pokemon are not that far behind, right? A stronger Pokemon would have been able to one-shot the Azu, but a dumber opponent could have lost there. And that's what we're looking for today. We're looking for dumb opponents. Hey, what's up? I'm Sean in the editing room making this video for you. And I think this is a perfect time to bring up dumb opponents because you will notice that 90% of my wins in this stream are against the same person. So I just want to shout that person out and let me know if you notice who it is. Look at this replay. He goes Sableye and then he uses Trick to hand me a Choice Scarf item, which means I can only use the same move I just used. So I Flare Blitz, right? Now I'm locked into Flare Blitzing. Every time I attack, I have to Flare Blitz now because he gave me the Choice Scarf locking me in and he disables that move. So my only option is to struggle, which does huge damage to myself. That is a really cool way to win. I was expecting like Will-O-Wisp Encore, but that was awesome. Oh my God, he just KOs like that. That is crazy. That's gotta be like Choice Banded Outrage. Holy crap, that just beats my whole team right there. That gouging fire just smokes everyone, no questions asked. All right, I think we're about to get a Charmeleon here. I really think we're about to win this. We get the Weavile, and then we just go Flare Blitz. He uses Protect. Please allow me to explain what happens here because this match is so slow, but so important to our story for today. My opponent has the ability Pressure. Effectively, for every move I use, I use two moves, so I run out of moves very quickly. Then he uses Substitute to delay and make me use my moves more. He also uses the move Protect to protect himself. His idea is that once I run out of moves, I will unalive myself like the Sableye we saw earlier. But eventually he runs out of Substitutes and look what happens. Oh, he fails to protect, and we get our first evolution. Because I think like an Eviolite Will-O-Wisp set could be decent. I see this as a Bulbasaur matchup all day. This was a terrible decision. He's going to like Mega Horn or something into me. I don't think we have any way to KO. Trailblaze. Oh, that's bad for him. If he tries to trailblaze again, then our substitute stays up, and then he's just magically lost the game just like that. He does. Okay. Our opponent is stupid. Let's see if he's got a stronger move to break the substitute with, so we're gonna click substitute again. See, I don't like it when this happens. I feel like I'm cheating when I run into people this bad at the game. And just like that, the leech seed gets the KO. I just can't believe that this is actually working. Because that's what we want to copy, is this Venusaur. Once we get the Venusaur there, we can win a lot. Oh, we run into this guy again. And let's just click Substitute and see what the Avalog wants to do. Okay, it's Earthquaking. We lose. That's it. There, there's nothing we can do about it. When you're playing Pokemon 1v1s, you need to be paying attention to what your opponents are using because there's only going to be like 10 people playing this game mode at any given time. So by remembering what moves they have, you can remember how you win. And it starts turning into this Rock, Paper, Scissors matchup. It's like, okay, he threw scissors last time we played, but is he going to throw rock this time or is he gonna go and throw scissors again? This looks potentially huge for Squirtle. As long as he doesn't go King Gambit is what I was gonna say. But our Aqua Jet kind of beats his Sucker Punch. Iron Head hurts. Um, yeah, all right, there it is. GG, <laughs> good job. I don't know if there's just, is there anything better 
I can do with the Squirtle. Wait, was that Mirror Coat? If hit by a special attack, returns double the damage. And then we could do... Does it get Fake Out? It does get Fake Out. Okay, so we can do either Shell Smash into Hydro Pump to win games, or we can go Fake Out into Mirror Coat to win with Squirtle. And then for this matchup, we just go Charmeleon, and we try and get a Substitute up. On the off chance that we survive, the Citrus Berry will trigger. We'll be able to get a Substitute up, and then we'll be in Blaze range. Okay, that's how that works. Cool. GG. This, uh, this Squirtle might do some work, though. It's very specific, but that's what I like about 1v1s. I like that these sort of weird, unconventional sets can be very, very good. Okay. Oh, he forfeits! He forfeited because we shell smashed and we're faster than him now. Okay, do we count that as a win? Is that a win in our favor? Yeah, I made him wimp out. That's a win. I think that is totally fair to call that a win. This looks great. I am ecstatic about how this is going. I, this is actually really fun. I'm enjoying this challenge a lot. Look at this. I'm this is I'm loving this. So now we've we've got everyone to their middle teenage stages. All the sets are looking really good. We're getting good wins, and we're about halfway through the challenge at this point. All right, let's go. We're going War Turtle, who gets to deal with the Valiant. Now, what we need is for this to be a specially offensive Iron Valiant. If, it, if he hits us with the physical attack, we lose. Uh, we just lost. Okay, GG. Disable. Oh my gosh. All these disable sets are so annoying. I thought he would, um, like, disable or something again. Okay, so we lost to the Bax Caliber when we went Charmeleon. So I think we have to go War Turtle here. And then Shell Smash Hydro Pump. I think that's our only bet. And yeah, that's not killing. So we should just forfeit. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think we have any way to beat this uh, opponent's team. Not with our current setup. We're going to go War Turtle again, actually. I think it beats a lot of his team. I think it beats Gengar. It beats Weavile. No, I really don't mind running into the same people over and over again. It's just on stream. I'm... The major issue is I don't want people in the chat saying, this is fake. You kept playing the same guy over and over again. I don't know who Glacial Speed is. When this gets uploaded and eventually gets 10 million views, everyone's going to call it fake. Skills have improved. We're just going to mirror coat this. Thunderbolt... We get our first fully evolved Pokemon. Let's go. We pulled up the calculator. Blastoise needs to be at 270. This is weird. 274. Blastoise needs to be at 274 and it can outspeed Iron Valiant. We got a freaking Blastoise on the team. I'm doing this challenge again. Tell you what, I'm doing this challenge again. We do it with Gen 2 starters next. And for the thumbnail, I just have like for alligators, giant butt cheeks. Would that be cool? I suspect he's just gonna go, oh, okay. Oh, okay, and he KO'd. Well, stored power, wow. Okay, that's not bad, that's not bad. I do wanna just get into another match right away though. Blastoise has kind of been destroying him and I don't wanna just spam Blastoise though because obviously we just farmed wins off him with Blastoise. But we're gonna do it again. <laughs> and then just mirror coat. No, no, he tricked me. Oh, disable. Oh, he got me good. Should I have to unevolve if I lose? I feel like I should, at least with the level, like the third stage evolution, because it's just kind of like sitting there as a Pokemon I don't want to click anymore. Like I should have to win the challenge off three wins in a row. Uh, this obviously looks like a chance to go Charmander. My opponent said, nice team. I said, thank you. If I win, I evolve. And we're just gonna go straight for the Flare Blitz. He goes first impression, and we get a Charizard like that. Let's go! I got Charizard, baby! Let's go! Yes, I have been waiting to get the Charizard this entire stream. That is so hype. Okay, I can actually go for like the Dragon Dance set now. But we just need to find an opportunity for Bulbasaur to win now. We're facing Glacial Speed for the millionth time. We might end our run by defeating our rival with Ivysaur here. The fact that I'm dominating this challenge. How long have I been in here? 12 minutes? I don't know how long stream the stream is. We go Substitute. Oh, he's got Avalanche. Let's see if we can get... Okay, Leech Seed. Perfect. Leaf Storm should be able to KO if we connect right here. We might win our challenge. 
Leaf Storm is 90% accurate, but according to my calculator on the right side, I should be able to KO. Am I faster? I am faster. Okay, I'm gonna click Substitute one more time. I'm so scared to click this Leaf Storm, I could win the challenge right here. Okay, now Leaf Storm definitely KOs. Yes! I win! I've done it. I've done it. There we go. We've finished the challenge. 